Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This program is being brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals publish to inform and educate their consumers, to grow their practices and their businesses, and to leave a legacy. We're doing a series of spotlights on remarkable experts from across the country and even in your town. Joining me on this segment is Sean Duffy. He's the founder of Integrity Pharmacy Consultants. Sean, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for uh, having me on. I appreciate it. Sean, briefly tell us a little bit about, found, uh, about Integrity Pharmacy Consultants and specifically who are the types of clients that you help? So in, Integrity Pharmacy Consultants uh, assist independent pharmacy owners that are exploring their options of selling. We provide information on the process. We help them with valuation. And then we also help them maximize that selling, selling price when they are ready to sell. And we do it all within the pharmacy industry. Everybody with our company, we're all pharmacists and we've all got uh, um, incredible experience within the pharmacy industry in all different aspects. These independent pharmacies across the country, what is their number one or two challenges that they have when it comes to selling their pharmacy? Anybody knows anything about the pharmacy, it's the reimbursements. It's uh, uh, the margins continue to erode year after year with, with different insurance plans reducing the reimbursement with the cost of drugs going up. So it, it's, it's leaving less margin there to, for some of these independents to be successful independent owners. It's, 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 it's very challenging. When it, when it comes to selling a pharmacy, these, these owners, um, are there any common myths or misconceptions that they hold that might sabotage their success in selling their pharmacy? Um, one of them is the, the one more year syndrome. It's like, well, I'll give it one more year and see if things get better. And then it's another year and things get better. And with the trends that the way the pharmacy is moving, not only are the independents losing margins on their profitability, but so are the people buying the pharmacy. Some of the, the larger chains, the CVS, the Walgreens, the Rite Aid, the grocery chains, they're also seeing a reduction in margins. So they're, they're offering you know, not as much as they once were for to purchase your business. So sometimes the longer you wait, the more one more year syndromes you have, the less value you're going to have when when it does come time to sell. That makes sense. So along those lines, what are some other like pitfalls or what are some of the biggest mistakes that you've seen people make when it comes when it comes to trying to sell their pharmacy on their own? Or, one of the biggest things is they, they really don't know what the true value of their pharmacy is. They don't have the experience with having you know, several other transactions and knowing what the true value is, because that's the most important thing to be able to negotiate to a certain point, you need to know what point you can negotiate to. And then there's also multiple different things within a selling process that you can you can maximize different parts of your, your profitability or, or even reduce your tax liabilities once you do sell. Because what, what they're most concerned with is how much money is gonna end up in their retirement account or their savings account at the end of the day. And you know that's something, unless you've been through multiple different transactions to sell on a pharmacy, an owner's not gonna know what pockets to negotiate and, and to what extent. John, what inspired you to start, uh, you know, Integrity Pharmacy Consultants? Like, how did you get started? Tell us a little bit about your background. So that, that is a wonderful question. I'm glad you, you asked me. And I wasn't prompted for that question. So it was a great question. Um, growing up, my father uh, was an independent pharmacist. So I grew up, I'm a second generation pharmacist. I grew up with independent pharmacies. And when I was in, in college, Unfortunately, you know, the, the pharmacy was sold to a big chain because they offered a, a whole suitcase full of cash, something I couldn't have even begun to, to pay for the business. So I ended up working for retail chains and working my way up into corporate management uh, to the point that I was actually involved with buying independent pharmacies and bringing them into our chains and, and working with their files and their inventory. And I saw how much money these independents were leaving on the table. 
Um, you know, while I was working for the chains, you know, my heart goes with the independence and it just killed me to see these owners that had a business for 30 or 40 years leave hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table just because they didn't know what they needed to do. Um, so I decided to, to leave the retail chain environment and start this business so I could start helping independent owners through this process when the time came. So you have a really unique perspective from being on both sides of that transaction, I, I see. Uh, Sean, before I ask you my last question, is there anything that I didn't think to ask that you think is important to share with our listeners today? Um, I think if, if you are selling your pharmacy, explore different options, talk to different, different people that might be able to help you do that. You know, whether it's integrity pharmacy consultants or somebody else, I do highly suggest you talk to somebody that is experienced in selling a pharmacy. But most importantly, you've got to trust this person. I would, I would ask them, how long have they been helping owners sell pharmacies? How many pharmacies have they been involved with selling? Uh, what type of, of reviews do they get from the owners they've sold before in the, the past? Are they a pharmacist? Are they from the same industries? So I would get to know that person, ask some of those questions. And once they're, they're comfortable with somebody, then that's when you move forward with them. I appreciate it. Really sage advice, Sean. Uh, for folks on the call, for, for pharmacy owners on the call um, that would like to get help or have some questions, how can they find you, connect with you, and learn more? So our, our website, it's pretty easy. It's integrity-rx.com. Um, cell number, I'm always available. It's 480-855-3584. Or a simple email address as well as Sean, S-E-A-N, at integrity-rx.com. John, this has been terrific. I really appreciate you taking the time and sharing with my audience today. And I wish you continued success for you and for all of your clients. Okay, great. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was Sean Duffy, the founder of Integrity Pharmacy Consultants. And this segment's been brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done and published to educate their consumers, to grow their businesses, and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for joining me.